Hello and welcome to Tim's Bits and Pieces. I will be showing you model train tips and tricks, layout build, new items for the layout, repairs and servicing of locos and rolling stock, 3D prints as well as four wheel drive repairs, DOA projects and much more. So grab a drink, a bite to eat, sit back and enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your comments. Let's get on with it. Okay, so how are everybody? I've got an old can of contact cleaner, of which I've been wanting to use for years, but the problem is the lids, the spray piece is gone. So I looked online and I found some of these. So I printed them up this morning. So yes, 3D printed, FDM, not, not um, resin. So see if this fits on there. No, it doesn't. Not quite. Needs to be just a little bit bigger. Okay. I reckon if I drill that out slightly by hand, that will work. So let us try this. Okay, now a little pin vise. Okay, that's small. So we go turn it around to the next size. Nope, it's still too big for that even. All right. Well, I'll put it in my little battery drill, but I have to be careful because I don't want it too big. And I know for a fact it's fair, this this drill bit is fairly sharp because it's one I've resharpened. So. Do that and then we do it down here very carefully. I better check because I don't want to be going too big, do I? That's pretty close, I'd say. Or do I get my calipers onto it? Shall we really get into the finer side of it? Shall we? So I, I take the battery out of mine all the time so it doesn't flatten the battery when you don't use it for months at a time or whatever. Turn it on, zero it out. So I need it to be 3.9, say 4 mil. So what's that? 3.91. That's close enough for me. See, not a bad guesstimate, was it? Not a bad guesstimate at all. But I suppose when you've been doing these things as long as I have, um, you tend to know the things of what they are and what they aren't. All right, so I'll put this in here. And this is just my little work zone drill that I've bought from Aldi, and I've got a, a drill chuck fitting for it, which is quite handy. I mean, you can put drill bits in it, because otherwise it's only for other stuff. So, all right, let's give this a gentle... Drill out very slowly. All right. I can even do that by hand just to clear it. To make sure we're getting the right spot. Clear that. I'll see how that goes now. Look at that! Bingo! Half an hour printing on a 3DM printer. Um, half an hour printing on, a, on an FDM printer. And I have, now have, a can of Philips Old School Contact Cleaner that I've been sitting here for, that I've had for years that I can't use because the nozzle broke. So there you go, people. It's as simple as that with all sorts of things nowadays with your printers, all these bonus things that you can do with your printer. So that's just one of. All right, so what I'll do is I'll clean this off. 
give this bench a bit of a clean with the leftover contact cleaner because it's good because it'll actually clean the, the bench top as well in contact cleaner as it is there we go look at that nice and clean now and this is one of those mats just the other way around so let's give that a bit of a spray spray a bit of a wipe over with the contact cleaner sprayed onto it and there we go good as near new shall we say and um, now I've got my can that I can use again, once again. So, thanks to um, 3D printing these days, it makes simple things that were normally out of reach because of you had no way of doing it other than buying one for X amount of dollars that cost you with it now and a leg postage. Um, I actually printed two of them, so I've got one for that and one for as a spare or one for some other can or something. So, um, yeah. And I thought it was good because it's, instead of just the little round nozzle like you see on the normal cans, it's actually got a long piece on it, um, which actually is good for model trains because you can get it into places. Um, I don't know, just an idea, it's like you can get it into places like in there, instead of just spraying all over, you can actually direct it into little places where you want it to get into. So um, there you go, the benefits of 3D printing. Another problem solved.